I think we might be done. Oh, that's a little Fitz and Floyd box. Damage, any damage, hand painted. This was our Fitz and Floyd day, boy, I tell you. Okie dokie, we are at the 32nd Street and Cactus Goodwill tonight. Um, I just got off of work a little while ago and I felt like shopping. So we're going to go inside and check out and see what we can find. Let's go. Okay, well, it's pretty busy tonight, so let's start in the back. Um, we tend to do that when we need some time for people to figure out what they want to what they want to do. Um, but you never know, we could find some good stuff back here. We have before. Um, finding a lot of sewing baskets lately. Kind of like this one. Got a cute little tapestry pattern on the front. Let's see, how does it open? All right. Designed exclusively for Azar. I think I've seen that label before. The inside's pretty decent. It, does, it is a little dirty, but it's not bad. It's not in bad shape. It has little feet. It has all the stitching on the... Well, actually, the stitching is kind of coming off on, on the handle. How much is this? There's no price on it. Okay. And I just got schmutz all over me. All right, we'll go ahead and leave that behind. That wasn't as good as I thought. Let's move on. Those corn holders don't go here. Those are old ones, too. Those are really nice for $4.49. There's a little bit of wear on, on them, a couple of chips, but they're actually really cute. I like the detail on them. But we do not need corn holders. And sometimes stuff like that, when it's damaged, um, it just really brings down the value. Checking out bags. Doesn't look like these bags have too much of anything. It's mostly kitchen stuff. This is one of those Goodwills that puts bags kind of on the end caps of all the aisles. So we got to make sure we don't miss them because bags can have some good stuff in them. That's really pretty, but it's not old. That's cute. FTD. <clears throat> oh, we see a little tiki guy poking out here. What's this? Tiki Lalani USA 149. That's actually a pretty cute cup. And I think for 149, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And you're gonna see in my cart that I also grabbed this. Um, I saw it as soon as I came in and it was kind of busy in that aisle, so I didn't start filming yet. Um, but we do really good with these um, Mexican pottery. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that for 99 cents. That would be financially irresponsible if we didn't do that. Um, oh wow, there's a whole like note written on this. It's kind of sad something about hospice. I don't even want to get into that. Do not need to be sad tonight. Um, it looks like it'd be worth it to dig in here a little bit just to kind of see if there's anything, but I'm not seeing anything from where I'm standing. It's got a crack in it, otherwise that would be pretty, oh, and quite a few chips. Otherwise, that's a cute little planter. And no price. That doesn't help. Oh um, no. Make sure you check the bottom shelves. You never know what's hiding down here at the bottom. But I don't see anything fantastical. <clears throat> the bottom of that looks like there's some age to it. 449. Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't look like it's gonna come off, whatever it is. Um, and there's a big crack running all the way down right here. You can't see it on the camera, but it's there. So, no. Sorry, no thanks. All right. Oh, he's a cutie pie, isn't he? How badly is he damaged? He's very, 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 very dirty. Um, looks like he's Norland's. I can't read it, and I don't have my glasses. Or Rubens. He's Rubens. 149. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any chips. So he just needs a really good cleaning. And for $1.49, there is a little tiny chip right there on the front. 
but I don't think that's terrible for a dollar forty. Vacuum, I think, in our last video. That's this guy. That's kind of nice. It's sort of a Mexican pottery, like little gravy boat. There's a. Ooh, this one's got a mark on the bottom. Mexican Artica Gomez. I think we're gonna have to look that up. Is there, a, is there a picture in here? Is there a picture to go with that? Because I also really like these. And these are $2.49. They look like they're in pretty good shape. I like that little dimple to like hold it. Um, I really like those, $2.49 each. I think I'm definitely gonna pick those up. We're gonna have to look those up. And then, I don't know how I didn't see it, like as soon as I came down this aisle, but look at these fantastic fishies. They're Fitz and Floyd. Oh my goodness. I wonder if any of these are worth anything. It looks like there's a canister set. Where's the other canister to go with that lid? And here's a big giant fishy dish. Had some yucky stuff on it, but doesn't look like it has any damage. $5.49 for this great big 1986 fishy. I don't know. Is that worth anything? I'm absolutely in love with these fishies. Unfortunately, this little pitcher has got some damage. But let's check out the other stuff. Well, um, I think we're going to go ahead and get the fish and the two canisters because I love them. Um, but I think we're going to pass on the other. I did find this guy too. Um, he's $7.49. I looked them up. There's no solds. Um, there's very few listed. And there's one that is listed. And it's a big set for $120. So I think we're going to pass on it. Um, it's not as cool as the other ones that we've picked up. It's not. It doesn't look like it's handmade. It looks more like it's mass produced. So I'm not uh, in love with that. Um, so let's check out and see what we've got on this next aisle. Um, I love the chicken plates. Those are pretty cute, actually. Um, chant, chant clear. I can't quite tell what that says. Um, but they are four forty nine for two. I think we'll pass on that. Um, wow, this is quite the quite the dish. I don't have anywhere to put this where I can show it to you. I'm going to have to clear off a little spot. It kind of reminds me of the one that we saw the other night um, when I picked up those green, those beautiful green um, cups. And it was just the bottom, and it was a Limoges. This one says P and C. I don't know what that means. I don't know who that is. $9.49, there's lots and lots of gold missing on the edges here and on the bottom. <clears throat> and for $9.49, I'm not so sure about that. Um, I do like the little thistles, um, but I think we're gonna have to think about that one. And again, we say that and then we never come back. Ooh, those apples are cute. Are those apples old? I don't know if they are. But for $3.49 each, I kind of like those apples. And I think I want to grab those. <clears throat> I think they could bring us a little bit of dollars. Very, very massive platter here. And another one underneath it. Um, clay art. So... Probably has some age to it for sure, but not completely my style and very, very big and heavy. So I think we will go ahead and pass on that. There's some temptations. Some of these can be worth picking up. They are not necessarily old, but a lot of them are very collectible. Um, this guy's got some age to him, but no mark or anything. So we'll go ahead and keep moving. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a big line, though, so you can tell that it's just glass. It's not anything special. Mm, produced for design pack. 
that's really cheap metal. That's not <clears throat> a nice little server or dish or anything like that. Oh, that's very thin glass or pottery. Kind of a pretty piece, actually. I like that. What's happening down here? Uh, ooh, big, heavy. Um, I kind of like this bowl with the leaves. Four forty-nine, and then all oh, the leaves are separate, but it fits really well. It's like they're meant to be together. Huh. Um. There is a, another kind of Talavera bowl down here. Let's see what this is. Um, it's not signed or anything. The quality of that isn't as fantastic as some other pieces that we've picked up, so we'll go ahead and pass on that guy. Um, check out baggies. Oh, oh dear. Whoops. Messy stuff is happening over there, there in that aisle. Oh, lots of fruit. Lemons, pears, apples, all kinds of fruit. Lots of fruit. Apples, lettuce. I don't know. What is that? All right. Let's move on down the road here. Um, candles, candles, candles. Lots of candles. Oh, my goodness. He has no face. He must have fallen down or something. And his entire head is gone. That's very sad. Oh my goodness, but it looks very creepy. Yikes. Um, they've got a lot of stuff on the shelves, so I want to try to go slow and look at everything, but at the same time, a lot of it's just junk. It's a little amber candle holder. That's cute. Sweet. I need to stop saying cute. I say cute too much even for things that aren't cute. Give me new words. What else can I say? Teach me a new word. Ooh, I kind of like that. What's that? Love that, actually. Oh, man, it's missing a... It's missing a stone. $5.49. I'd have totally paid $5.49 for this. Candle holder. It's missing a little marble. Oh, well, that sucks. Shucks. Um, not seeing anything else, though, on this shelf. Um, so let's whip around the corner here and see what they got in metal. I think it's metal. Yes, metal for the most part. Except for this chicken. He is not metal. He's cute. Oh, there I go again. Reminds me of something my mom had. It's like a little gravy, you know, for gravy. $6.49. It's cute. It's not marked. Oh my god, with the cute Rami. It's not marked or anything though. So I think we will pass on that. This is very pretty, like the way the light's shining through it. Um, so it's definitely crystal. $9.49. I've got several crystal pieces listed right now, though, so I want to not really pick up any more at the moment. Unless it's something absolutely fantastic, like a big, beautiful piece of Waterford or something. Um, let's scoot down to the mugs here and see what we've got in cups. Or I guess they're just teacups, not mugs. Mugs are on a different aisle. So these are teacups. And teacups can be very profitable and very lucrative and very cool. Um, they've got some platters from that. But see, yeah, uh, they're not marked or anything. That Only that one piece was. That's, that's how I was able to look it up. But if I got all these pieces individually, it would be really expensive. I mean, this bowl is $9. So I don't think we're going to mess with that. We already said no. We're going to stick with no. This has got some age to it. That's really cute. Little divided dish. Damn it, with the cute red wing. Oh, I love that. I think I'm going to grab that. Okay. 
Well, I just ran into a fan, Angie. It was really great to see her and meet her. She doesn't want to be on the camera, so I'm not going to pan over and say, hey, everybody say hi to Angie, but that was really great um, to meet somebody that watches. So um, it's a lot of fun. Let's check out what else we got here. We got to get home. Um, here's some more of that Gomez. This is a little pot that, with an opening, I guess like a soup for soup or whatever. Let's not break it. <clears throat> Well, we saw a couple of those at the other Goodwill. They're not old, I don't think, and there's a little temptations underneath that. This looks interesting. Has some age to it. I really like that. 549. No mark. It looks like it probably had a sticker at one time. I think for 549 though, we can't go wrong on that guy. So we're gonna pick that up. grab our cart so it isn't in the middle of everything. Oh, I just saw this. Easter's coming. That's a really weird little jar or a bowl with jelly beans in it. Handmade popcorn. Sheila. Good job, Sheila. That's cute. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. So, these refrigerator dishes um, do really, really well. Let's go ahead and pick those up. Make sure they're not broken. But we're definitely gonna grab those. Does this guy have a sticker on him? Yes, he does. So, let's get those in the cart without breaking them and other things. All right, let's swing around to plates and see what's in actual plates. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Of course. It's so weird that the only thing that I found that had a marking on it was that, um was that little sugar bowl. Everything else is unmarked. Everything else that we've found. And some bowls. Do the bowls have anything on them? Nope. Crazy talk. Okie dokie. Well, we couldn't get into glassware quite yet, but we will get there. Um, so let's check out this aisle instead. We've got a little guy back here on a, I don't know. Well, I thought it was marble, but it's like plastic actually. So that's not as good as I thought it was. It's not actually old. And it's damaged. So that makes me feel even better about not grabbing it. Oh, it's a little incense burner. I don't wanna break anything. It's Kind of a mess back here. That's an interesting little fellow. He's got a break on his nose, but he's carved stone. And I like that little cup too. 99 cents. It's chipped though and cracked. God, I'm like afraid that things are gonna start flying off the shelf here. See, like things are sliding. What a mess. It's an interesting little candle holder. <clears throat> oh dear God. So there's a like a whole stack of these stupid plates. I mean, I don't need these. I, I got one the other day. Well, see, that one's broken, so that's a definite no. Um, I don't know. That one looks pretty good, and I like that one.
and that one's pretty good. Okay, so maybe we'll grab. We've got one aisle of figurines that we did not get to, so let's check that out. It's like a bunch of, I don't know, they seem like they're metal. Yeah, like little metal tiles. Oh, they hang on the wall. How strange. You have like a bunch of them. It's odd. And I guess hanging them on the wall is better than actually adhering them to the wall if you don't like want them anymore you can just undo them what does that say something.com so it can't be old right it's like a sponge holder or something it looks like right uh, these are Fitz and Floyd um, I think Angie picked up the um, there was, I, I saw a figure over here earlier, but oh wow, yeah, look, she's missing an arm. She's missing a petal on her thing. That's too bad, because those girls are cute. Oh, we've got a tile in here. 649. Um, it's not worth too much more than that. You can buy them all day. At, different shops and stuff. Here's one brand new in, a, in the box. $6.49, although this one, I love the hot air balloons. Um, but I don't have Sia 1995 brand new. So $6.49, not a bad price. But Oh, well, this little guy is missing his tusks. So for $4.49, I think we will pass on him. I know. Um, That's pretty scary. All right, up on this top shelf, we've got a bank. Um, that looks like it's a hot air balloon, doesn't it? <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, oh, what are these guys? I just knocked it over. I guess that means it wants to be looked at. 349, those are cute. Oh my God. Those are nice. Those are pretty. Um, Berlin, I like those, but. Mm, I think for three forty nine each, we'll we'll pass. See, then I start thinking about how I'm saying cute too much, and then I stop talking. I don't want to completely stop talking. Um, this shelf is a disaster. Let's try to clean it up a little bit. My God. Let's throw this down here. And we'll take a look down here while we're here. But there is nothing of tremendous interest. I want to see what this is. This is a baby frame. $249. I like that. No chips or cracks or breaks or anything. Um, no? 
doesn't look like it. I really, I really like that for $2.49. I think we're going to pick that up. We have a cup back here that doesn't go there. Here's another baby thing, Japan. Somebody was selling it for $7.99 and now it's $2.49. Got some more baby shoes back there. No markings, they are old. There's lots of crazing on the glaze. All right, let's keep moving. That kind of looks like that salt marsh pottery. It is, this is a thistle. Salt marsh pottery. So that's $2.49 and that one's not broken. It does have some, I don't know what here, but I think that that will come off. So we'll pick that up. I like the thistle even more than the other thing. Um, this is a bowl of popcorn. Obviously, you cannot eat it, but that looks like real popcorn. That's pretty amazing. Or maybe it is real popcorn and they just don't want you to eat it. I know I'm looking at this for far too long. I just feel like it looks like something that I've seen people say is something before, and so I wanted to make sure it wasn't. I have the set of these. This is obviously very, very damaged. How much do they want for this? $4.49, it's super broken. I don't know, it's possible that it wasn't broken when it got out here, but I, I doubt it. Mackinac Bridge, Mackinac City. Um, plates, plates, plates. It can be a good idea to look through the plates. Um, just in case there's something really, really outstanding. Um, in this case, though, there is not yet. No, no. Those are America plates, I can already tell. They say like America and stuff. Most of these are states. Somebody had a very big state collection, but what are these two on the bottom here? I want to see those. <clears throat> they are $4.49 for the two of them. Mikasa Garden Club. Those are really, really pretty. $4.49 for two. Oh no. Might have to look that up and see if they're worth anything. I think that's what we're gonna have to do before we leave. Let's check this out, what's that? Uh, it's pretty, it's very delicate. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and pass on that. Ariel, hi Ariel. Karanak, I don't know what that means, but I like the little boy and the little girl. It's not signed though. All right, well, I think we might, that's made in China. I think we might be done. Oh, that's a little Fitz and Floyd box. Damage, any damage, hand painted. This was our Fitz and Floyd day, boy, I tell you. 249 for that baby. I will take that for 249. Thank you very much. Actually, it was our day for a lot of things. Look at all this beautiful stuff. We had a lot of fun today, my goodness. We met a fan. We found a lot of really cool stuff. That's actually kind of a neat little bamboo box. Doesn't have any kind of signature or anything on it, but it is, oh wow, it's bright inside. But it's really cool. What's up with this bamboo box? I like that. It's not broken. I think we might have to grab that too. Uh, this is something China. Sakura. Sakura. Looks like it's a shaker, but it's all by itself. Easter. All right, all right. We need to be done. And I don't know what milk glass is worth stuff and which ones aren't, but I feel like that one isn't. It doesn't feel like it's worth anything. So, all right, let's look up these plates real quick and then we will probably have... So we got, we kind of got booted out of the glass aisle when we were over here the first time and I didn't get to see the second section. So let me check it out really quick. And then obviously, duh, the mugs. It's a cute Pepsi cup. I'm a Coke drinker myself, Diet Coke to be specific. 
Um, that is really cute. It's very scratched, though, unfortunately. Um, don't see anything else in glass. Um, so let's check out mugs. No. No. This is a Starbucks mug, but it's just a Starbucks mug. We're looking for the Where You Bean ones um, that are for different states and countries and things like that. Um, and obviously any other fun mugs for ourselves to, to sell, to resell. Because um, there is value in mugs. Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't upside down and I was looking for words and then I realized what I was looking at. This is Colorado. Four forty nine. Really cute. Love all of the graphics. But very, very sad. It is super chipped. It has two big nasty chips. So I'm sorry, Ames. I'm gonna have to leave that behind. I'm not gonna buy you a broken mug. Oh my god, that's such a bummer. We never find them, and this is the first time on camera that we have found a Starbucks mug and it's broken. That makes me so mad and sad and mad and sad. Let's go check out art. We forgot art. Okay. It's a gigantic cork board, my lord. Ooh, what are those flowers? They like those flowers. Um, Patricia something, 1989, 6.49 on that. It's got some stains. That's a bummer, and it's got kind of a little bit of, I don't know what right there, damage. I don't know, maybe she meant to do that. There, that's actually in a few spots. I do like the flowers though, and the frame is actually not too bad either. But I don't think it's gonna sell because of that. That's too bad. Oh, sorry, Patricia. Your art is pretty though. Somebody messed it up. That's just a print, but it's really cute. Little kids um, playing, 1967. I don't know. That might be worth looking up to see if the print is worth anything because for $349, oh, hi, hi. For $349, that's not too bad. So we will look that up. Now we're getting a little bit into kind of frames and frames slash art, small art. Um, but I don't see anything here that is fantastic. Looks like somebody pulled this out to look at it because it does look good from, from afar. But I don't know, I can't tell if it's actually real. It is signed, uh, WHS 1934, 349. The frame is really, really, really well done. And I like the subject matter. Although that tower looks a little um, interesting. We'll just say that. I don't know, maybe I should look at this up too. Because now that I look at it, like, I don't know. Can you see the texture there? Like, it definitely looks like it's actually painted. Um, I need to look that up too. I need to see if I can find out who WHS is. Because if this painting is from 1934 for 350, that could be another Lyman Bixby for us. Um, so definitely, definitely need to check this out. Wow. Okay. So our total spend, ugh, our total spend was $82, but we got amazing stuff. Um, we got, well, amazing stuff. So yeah, um, I'm really excited. Um, Apparently this was the wrong place to... I'm, I actually moved spaces and I got away from behind the Goodwill because um, uh, it was really dark and I wanted something that was a little more lit so I parked in front of the bank. Um, but clearly that was a mistake because um, it just got really loud and there's like people behind me. Um, anyways, 
great finds. Um, really cool to run into a viewer. So hi Angie. Um, that was really, really awesome. Um, it made me feel very special and very accomplished. Um, and today is actually, um, I don't know, I'm a little behind in processing videos, um, but today is actually my mom's birthday. Um, and she would have been old, I don't remember, 76 maybe, or something like that, um, if she was still with us. So I feel like she was definitely watching over me today and she she pushed me to go to this Goodwill um, and it was all for the best because I got to meet Angie and I got some really fun, fantastic finds. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and subscribe please share my video please comment on my video uh, please help me find a new word to replace cute that that word has got to go <laughs> i've got to stop saying it what am i going to do i have to program my brain um but it was fun shopping with you guys tonight and um i'm really glad i stopped because it was fantastic i can't stop smiling it was a really wonderful night it recharged me for the rest of the week um, everybody have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye.